combat divers in the division is to extend the commander division engineer's ability to influence the battle into the underwater environment. The combat divers' primary tasks are to conduct underwater reconnaissance and aid in the development and clearance of obstacles. The nucleus of the division's combat diving capability is found within the diving section of the engineer support regiment. For all but limited operations, this section is augmented by qualified divers from the field engineer regiment. Combat divers usually operate in teams of no fewer than four. A supervisor, two working divers, and a standby diver. The diving section operates from two specialized diving vehicles, each containing one air compressor, stores, and equipment sufficient for 16 combat divers. Depending on the tactical situation, the combat diver can execute tasks using compressed air breathing apparatus, rebreather, or the surface swim mode. They are generally limited to operating to a depth of 16 meters. However, depth and bottom time will depend on equipment, physiological and environmental conditions. Divisional combat diving tasks include reconnaissance of crossing areas, removal or destruction of underwater obstacles, underwater detection, neutralization and destruction of unexploded ordnance, emplacement of underwater and surface obstacles, including mines, and emplacement of explosives for destruction of bridge piers. Minor construction, including examination and repair of bridge abutments and floating bridge equipment. Safety standby duties and search and recovery of lost stores and equipment. Although initial information for a river crossing operation can be gained from aerial photographs and maps, it usually will be necessary to also complete an engineer reconnaissance of the bank and bottom conditions. A crossing area recce determines the characteristics and limitations of fords, deep wading, amphibious crossing, rafting, ferrying, bridging, or assault boat sites. Supplemental tasks can include marking of the crossing site, reporting on crossing conditions, and enemy activity on the far bank. Depending on the tactical situation, reconnaissance can be carried out by surface swimmers who may be complemented by CABA equipped divers. Sites under direct enemy observation would be wrecked using rebreather equipment. In some situations, a diver may be the only way of conducting a recce of the far bank. His ability to operate ashore is restricted since he has limited carrying capability when dressed for swimming or diving operations. Underwater reconnaissance also involves divers conducting reconnaissance for obstacle emplacement, obstacle clearance, or general engineer support tasks throughout the division area. Threat doctrine advocates the use of hedgehogs, nets, wire entanglements, prefabricated obstacles, and mines on sections of river suitable for assault crossings and on passable fords, both in the water and on the banks. The destruction or removal of underwater and surface obstacles is the job of the division combat divers. Since threat forces utilize a variety of river mines and favor tilt rod fusing, divers will be required for hand clearance to a depth of two meters. They will use satchel charges to blow obstacles and Bangalore torpedoes or Mark 8 hoses to clear lanes through underwater minefields. Demolitions are normally fired from shore but can also be fired from underwater. Combat divers may be required to detect, neutralize, and or destroy unexploded ordnance in support of division operations. Normally, this is done in conjunction with assault river or other forced crossings, and to eliminate general hazards in the division area. Additionally, it will be a necessary skill when divers are employed during defensive operations to patrol vital points such as reserved crossings. Potential enemy fording, snorkeling and swimming sites will be denied by obstacles. 
Divers, in most cases, will be tasked to support other engineers or pioneers to lay underwater minefields. Normally, these minefields can be effectively laid by a surface swimmer with wetsuit to a depth of 0.7 meters and by a cabin diver to a depth of 1.4 meters. These minefields are part of the division barrier plan and will be recorded in the same manner as any other minefield. In addition to minefields, the divers must be capable of emplacing wire, constructing log cribs and other underwater obstacles. In most cases, damaged floating or amphibious bridging equipment will be replaced by spares held nearby, with repairs done later. Sometimes, temporary repairs to military boats, float bridges or rafts will be necessary without removing them from the water. The ability of a combat diver to quickly affix a metal patch to a pontoon may, in certain situations, be critical to the success of an operation. In addition, Combat divers may be required to effect limited repairs to bridge piers, docks, dams, and perform other minor construction activities. A safety organization of recovery boats and standby divers would be used during a saltwater crossing rehearsals and could be made available in support of the actual operation to recover casualties from the surface and drowned APCs and AVGPs. Specific drills, requiring one diver to be dressed in surface air supplied hookah gear, are necessary to enable two divers to quickly search a drowned APC for trapped personnel and rescue survivors. Search and recovery of lost or drowned personnel, stores, vehicles, aircraft and equipment is another task that will be required in operations. Divers will use a variety of equipments and techniques including lifting barrels and bags to float larger equipment closer to the shore so that it can be recovered by land-based equipment. The diving section is capable of conducting simple reconnaissance activities without outside support. The most common is the Ford reconnaissance operation. Black track leading up to the Ford site, Battle River. Here the team operates in a normal manner, using concurrent activities to complete the task in the optimum time. Following briefings and orders, the team secures a patrol base near the river. It then completes a reconnaissance of the Ford site. After their return, the team is debriefed. Required information is then passed on to Division Engineer Headquarters. Combat diving is a relatively new asset. Its activities are mainly directed at maintaining the mobility of the division and hindering the enemy's ability to force assault water crossings. Its presence constitutes a strong asset in all phases of operations within the division.